the Scrappy Scavengers update dropped not too long ago, and it had some decent things in it. Keyword, some. Let's just get into it. This is my opinion. Enjoy and subscribe. Roll the intro, Jamie. <laughs> Right, so let's start off with the heavy hitters right off the bat. The Lunar Fun Cap is everything I could have wanted from this update. I'm lying to you. You know, it's a cool addition, I guess, but it's literally four years late to the party. To make it, you need a 1 in 3 drop from Toadstool, but wouldn't it make more sense if the Lunar Fun Cap blueprint was dropped by him too, or by... Or, or, changing the recipe to accept all variants of the fun cap, the work needed to make the lunar fun cap, and all the fun caps in general, just makes them... meh... items. Enough floundering around. Let's get into the meat of this update. The embalming spritz. Uh, I mean the slimy salve. No, no, no. The, the new tall chest. What I mean to say is the scaled furnace trashing mechanic. Clay really was just throwing ideas at the wall this update. Let's just slog through all these one-off items and features that were added in. I can't be too hard on it, seeing as I don't decorate my base all that much, but it would be cool to see it have some niche application outside of decorating, like damaging bright shades or pepper spraying bosses. Cool idea for post fuel weaver acid rain hell and giving slurl slime a use other than weak explosives and fuel for lanterns. Crafting recipe needing a healing salve wrecks everything the slimy salve had going for it. The resistance is pretty short too. Maybe Clay is planning to add something more potent in the future, but the slimy salve is pretty bad in its current state. How in the hell did a civilian get on this base? I'll have someone's ass for dinner! Aside from being pretty funny to see a tall chest, the crafting is pretty expensive. Well, is it expensive though? The concept of expensive is subjective from person to person, and don't serve together at least. Expensive or cheap is a state of mind. Let that sink in. <laughs> One of the things I like about this update app, this feature finally lets me clean up my base from all those unburnable items. I like it. Now get out of my face and don't come back until you look like a soldier! At first it seems silly, but bat waves are kind of cool in my opinion. Lost in the sauce bats that want your niter is surprisingly kind of novel. I am not a sir! I work for a living, you moron! Another good implementation. Wow, Clay, keep it up. Every day I wake up and I hope you're dead! Okay, okay. Fluff out of the way. For real this time. The scrapyard is a very mixed bag. I really, 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 really like the scrapyard set piece. Why? Because of two reasons. Number one, it's new content. And number two, players actually get to see it. It's not some pie-in-the-sky piece of content that you can only see when you sail the ocean actively looking for it, or content you can only see once you follow an 11-step process to kill the de facto final boss of the game. The scrapyard is there from day one. It also spawns in a biome that is somewhat empty, so that's pretty cool. I also like digging through the scrap. Getting early game loot, well, in the early game, is always welcome. Who knew something so simple could be so refreshing? The Wobot is also a nice addition to the game. What isn't nice is that you need an end game repair kit to make it work, or rather, to keep it working. That leads me to my next point. The scrappy, or should I say crappy, wear pig. This is probably the worst thing this update has added. Who in the clay office has thought of this? Okay, so first of all, the wear pig can't be killed, only defeated. I don't want to repeat points from my older videos, but what fun is it in defeating a boss? I want to kill stuff. I want to kill these giant behemoths of the constant. I don't want to gravely injure them, then set them free. Every boss up to fairly recently has been killed. So why are the Werepig and Fartjaw exceptions to this? Pray tell. I also don't like that the Werepig will be appearing more and more with future updates. I'm predicting right now that it will be the same old gimmick of, oh, he's stuck in something. What a silly little guy. 
and the Werepig will probably be used as a get out of jail free card for when Clay doesn't have a good idea for a boss in a future update. My next point is that not every update needs a boss. I would much rather have a good boss every three updates rather than three half-baked bosses. The drops of the scrappy Werepig are also abysmal. Some scrap, a Wobot repair kit, and single-handedly the worst two boss drops in the game, the Capaldron and the Horizon Expandinator. It's not even worth to waste my breath on the Capaldron. I think even the most devout clay glazers can understand why this thing sucks. Capaldron? More like crap pauldron. Oh, and by the way, doesn't it make sense that this thing would have more wetness protection, seeing as this thing is basically a long-brimmed hat made of metal? The Horizon Expandinator, or should I say the Horizon Excrementator, is good in theory, but we all know that practically everyone and their grandmother uses some sort of camera tweaking mod, and having to take off your headgear to use this thing can be deadly in the right situations. What rubs salt in the wound is that to even see the scrappy werepig, you need to kill the nightmare werepig, a way harder harder boss in my opinion. I just can't stop talking about how much this update sucks. It sucks so bad. I don't think there's one redeeming thing about this update. Wait, what's that sound? What the? Trousers. Oh my. I take back everything bad I said about this update. Clay, whoever you are, you've outdone yourself once again. That's about it. Wear your trousers and subscribe.